Hey everyone, Sarian here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the demo for Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. This is the sequel to the beloved urban fantasy visual novel that released a couple of years ago in 2020. This episode introduces a few new characters, and I am pretty excited for the full release. Uh, since it is a demo, keep in mind some elements of the story may change. Alright, let's begin. What's your name? Spicy Boy, of course. Seattle, 2023. A city of enduring loneliness. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness, for the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments. Acceptance is a battle, and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing, and the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights, in a night blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they find a small respite to a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. It's raining pretty heavy. Sometime in 2023. All right, what do we have in the evening whispers today? A uh, massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? Seattle West Precinct Police is losing a record number of officers in January. And social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. Okay. The coffee shop looks different. I guess this will go on for a while. Officer Georgie. Welcome. Evening, spicy boy. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. I'd say the power lines. Probably. Yeah? What about them? Oh. That's a concern. The power kept going in and out all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, huh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I guess our resident brighter Miss Greenhaired Fairy isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she's changed hair color, then my bad. <laughs> it's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. Whoa. That's so. Things are looking up for Freya. At least, that's what she told me. That's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while. To have some time for herself. Ugh. Not looking too good, huh? Yeah, but I've already notified the City Lights Department. They said they'll monitor the area, just in case. 
Don't worry, spicy boy. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather. A lucky charm of sorts. Never, never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Well, unless you need it lit up for longer than ten seconds. <laughs> then you're on your own. It's the thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry around flashlights anyway? Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever. Goodness, finally. Thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh, no midnight patrol then? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like to try one of our new tea selections instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. <laughs> hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offer alternative stuff, spicy boy. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh. It's pea. As in pea... <laughs> pea pots. Oh. And not whatever else you thought it was. <laughs> Got it, whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. Correct. I'm sure you have all these info written down in your phone. I want to say yes, but... Some of my notes are missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Oh, better write down everything you can remember then. Anyhow, I'll take either blue pea or hibiscus. Keep them simple. Blue pea. By itself? I don't know if that tastes good. Uh... Well, no milk. Eh. Oh, I'll get him some hibiscus. Oh yeah. Enjoy. What's this? Wine? Yes, it's a piping cup of wine. Hey, mold wine exists, you know. And they're served hot. That's true. I stand corrected. Just a heads up, it's a bit tart. Roger that. Damn, it is sour. Uh, would you like some sugar to take the edge off? Nah, that's alright. It tastes familiar, though. I swear I had it before. It's traditionally sweetened and served cold with ice. Or you boil it with ginger or cinnamon for remedies. Yeah? Huh. Oh, can't recall. Maybe I'm just getting old. You're not that old. <laughs> Thanks, but no worries, spicy boy. Some people might hate getting old, but I ain't one of them. Because to me, it's proof that you're living. Anyhow, if I remember anything, I'll let you know. Yes, please do. What a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest has just finished all her remedials. Remedials? Yeah. We found out for a reason or another she's been neglecting her studies. So let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How did it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. What? 
Sorry to hear that. Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. Because of the storm? That and my car's busted. My tires have had all other valve caps removed. What? How come? Just so happens my car's the latest victim of a vandalism spray. It's a whole nother thing going on. But rest easy, we're on it. For now I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. <laughs> Who's that? Ooly! <laughs> By Zeus, what a disaster! Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. What's up? Uh, thunderstorms, obviously. Touché. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? <laughs> Who is this guy? It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. But I'm glad you're open, though. Else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up. That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name is Spicy Boy. And the gentleman over there is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet. Very eccentric. Uh-oh. Mrs. Calls. Ah. All right, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. Not the, not the gushy. <laughs> the gushy hoodie. So, can I get a latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes. You know what? I I'm not sure. <laughs> you tell me you're the pro. Um. Okay, okay, hear me out. You see, I liked coffee. Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it, you know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I, I still miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can just suggest me something. What was it about coffee that you missed? Uh, the caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? No, but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Then one matcha for me, please. Alright. Matcha latte? I hope I'm doing that right. Milk green tea. Nah. Too bad you can't drink coffee. That looks like some of our ingredients are missing. Green tea latte. Perfect. I'll make you something. Um, I'll try to draw a picture of you. Uh. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Looks a little eldritch in nature, but it works. Thank you for waiting. 
Thanks. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. What do you think? Not bad. But when you said concentrated, I expected it to taste bolder? It's the latte version, so maybe that's why it's mild. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. Oh well, thanks anyway. I think I messed up. Oh well. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's like, no trace of your place anywhere. Oh god, he's an influencer. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh. Maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we open quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close anyway? We're open until morning. For real? That's pretty heckin' late. Do you turn into a secret bar after like 2am or something? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. <laughs> what? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you like. Sweet, thanks. I could give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. <laughs> something, something, guess where I am. Ah, uh, very, very nice. Oh? I was gonna tag your place here. I do have an account there. But I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Tomodachi, huh? <laughs> you can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab inside the app on your phone once in a while. Huh, I'll check that out. What do we got, Georgie? Right. <laughs> I love that his bio has lactose intolerant in it. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> That's so cool. Sweet. Neko Chow, is that Rachel? Oh shit, it is. Do us all know each other? Good morning, let's do our best today, okay? Looks like she's doing fine. Freya, two hours delay, not a problem. See, she's at the airport. Alright. Not much about him now. Okay, Lucas, thank you for showing me that. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. Uh, that's a bit... Hey, I'm just saying. People will post anything. Kidding. I'm usually more active on my tube channel anyway. <laughs> but hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? <laughs> no thank you. But I'm curious, what do you do exactly? Your post already seemed to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right, I, I guess you could call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends, on the hottest people, on the hottest places. And everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? <laughs> Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price you can. Aw. Never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They help keep me on brand, so to speak. Since they said I can get too crazy sometimes. Whatever that means. Oh, lordy. Not looking too good. Welcome back, Pops. Thanks. Is everything alright? Kind of. The missus is not happy. Hmm. 
Maybe I should try calling the cabs. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? Been calling them for a while. Uh, I was still on the lookout earlier. Now, one and a half hours later, here I am. There are no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only ordering I can do is gnome noms from around the corner of my house. <laughs> Touche. Well, uh, well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. I don't know about that. But, whoa. I retract my statement. <laughs> for what it's worth, they ought to much longer than I expected. You're right. Wanna borrow my lighter then, spicy boy? Ah, tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm gonna check on something though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. I think your customers need, uh, some light. Hey, you alright? Uh, uh, yeah, everything's peachy. I, I just, uh, <laughs> I just don't like being in the dark so much. Well, you're scared of the dark, kid? Duh. You never know who might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still. Uh, don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. I can cough him, I can handle him. In theory. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Huh. Did you hear something? What? Somebody else is here. I, I swear I heard something just now. Uh, holy fu- Whoa! Uh, uh, hi. Uh. Very quiet. I'm back. Sorry about that. Everything should be good for now. Oh, great. Welcome. Can I make my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I'd like something soothing for my throat. And for my mind. Tough day at work. Uh, if you have no particular drink in mind, mind if I suggest trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte, hmm? There's no pea in it. Could you make it pretty? <laughs> I'll try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. All right, coming right up. Uh, how do we make this look good? Ah, uh, jeez. If only I was a latte expert. How do they make those designs anyway? Something like this. And then you do a little... Uh? A little... Uh? Uh. Okay. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Uh, it's... Blue? Uh, yes, but rest assured it is all natural. I see. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You are very welcome. Is the power okay now? Uh, yeah, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. 
Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight at the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to the flooding also. Well, darn. So, basically, you're saying we're stuck? Afraid so. At least for a little while. <laughs> I'm in such deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> Just didn't want to alarm you, spicy boy. Do we even have a car? His tire's gotten flattened. For real? Yep. There's this vandalism going around recently. Someone keeps removing the valve caps from parked ca cars around the West Precinct area. Huh. Why? Maybe someone's a collector. Or we got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting repaved. So a few of us had to bark outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's cart got had two pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah. Maybe because there's no real damage other than my time. My colleagues aren't so cool about it, though. The recent massive resignation sort of left us in a bind. We're pretty understaffed right now. Which means tensions are pretty high all around. That doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV. So I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it be just a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would be elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think that they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> if I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? People watch that kind of stuff? Oh yeah. It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money too if you play your cards right. Oh? The crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you just... until you push them just a bit too far. And you get cancelled. And then you'd get the nuke and everything will just go poof. And disappear. I won't stop anyone from doing it all over again though. <laughs> Cause really, all you need to get started is a camera phone and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. You should know, you sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no, my manager would kill me. Joking. Anyhow. A high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Maybe it's one of those social experiments. Oh yeah. Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. Been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining for one. Why? Not enough pranks? Harsh. Nah, I haven't done those things in a long time. Uh, not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways... I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yet they get bored easily too. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like the continuity of your, 
Ahsoka or work depends on the audience's whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? Uh, pardon? <laughs> What's with his face? <laughs> what is he looking at? I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Even so, I was unable to avoid overhearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Uh, do you think the audience is always right? <laughs> of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? <sighs> A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even ten or a hundred. Still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands? Millions? Hmm. Not so easy. So I believe if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. Uh, no? Why do you think that? Hmm. My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to, I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it's only fair. I admit that I'm not a big fan of online activities. I find that people can people's conduct their very conduct there very loathsome to me. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? I already took it down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting it to, getting to it, kid. Uh, right, okay. It was something made out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home. Since I have no previous theater experience to show. It was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post to a ver to a video site mainly to add the link to my applications. Though I'm not sure if it helped at all. As my attempts have yet to yield results. Right. However, one day my application was unexpectedly responded to by an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommend that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. It was a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? There were a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down. Because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. What's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice, and many others wanted to know who and where my handler was. Since there's no such thing as sentience for us banshees, I suppose. That's real fucked up. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? Global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapients. 
Sapien refers to any species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Huh. I may look like this, but a, a, a satyrs got added pretty late into the game. But don't you fit the bill right away? <laughs> yeah, but we're all bored males. And we didn't really have the best reputation either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still doesn't make it right. But I get it now, your disdain for the internet. I'm impressed you still, you seem very chill about it. <sighs> chill? Do I look chill? Uh oh, the, the light. But how can you be chill? To bl such blatant disrespect thrown in your face like that. Oh. <laughs> Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell, what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they feel some sort of perverse pleasure from others suffering? The audacity! I can't... I can't... I see the anonymity of talking through screens. Have enabled people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Uh, damn it, not again. Uh, just a second, please. Okay. Ooh, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> ah, thank goodness. Hmm? <laughs> uh. mm. It's just... not right. That kind of behavior is just not right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's alright. I admit I just don't want to hear the audience is always right. Because that means my dream has ran to ground before I can even try. Mm. How about if I help you? Huh? Uh, look, I get where you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables around. Hmm? Huh? How? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. <laughs> Whoa, kid, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. <laughs> no, Bob's not that kind. Honestly, I don't know much about the opera scene. But I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano roles, am I right? Yes. It's as if they're made for the role. Exactly. So, this is a case of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. So if you just compete based on your skills alone, sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Hmm. Wait, hear me out. You got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. Huh? A story. A story. Yeah. Imagine. A banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano. Or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage. Pursuing her dream of the myths of all the sirens, despite all the ads stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? Oh. But you haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? Of course.
course I'd love to. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions. Which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away. By putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Uh, don't worry, I have my ways. Any way you sing, everyone, everybody will be surprised no matter what. And that's what, that's when you'll get your time to shine. What are you talking about? No. Uh, what? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all of this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're trying to sell a caricature of me. Uh, of course not, no way! Uh, but, ouch, that kinda hurt a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude, but I don't know you, and you don't know me. So, how am I supposed to consider all of what you've said, when you don't even know my name? Honestly, if what you've been doing has worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? <sighs> hey. I don't know where you're going with that, but I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Uh... Ah, oh, crap. Hey, look, I'm... S the storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Uh, right. Uh, thank you for coming, Miss, uh... Riona. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. Conversation certainly took an odd turn. So let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few were actually intended for me. Oh, take care. Have a safe trip. Uh. uh, sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. Don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometimes and lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. The road closure is over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, uh, spicy boy. Yes? Uh, no, it's nothing. Okay then, see you soon, spicy boy. Pops. Have a safe trip. Well, uh, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, spicy boy. Oh, please, you don't know I mean. I don't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Be my youngest daughter, Missy. 
Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread, for sure. Yep. Uh-oh. It's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Kidding, but I better go though. You take care in closing, spicy boy. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. Man. Oof. What a day. I better clean up and then... Huh? What's this? Is that Georgie's lighter? Hmm. Someone must have forgotten this. Well, better keep it safe over here. Alright. Ooh. Got an inventory now. Okay, now let's wrap this up. To be continued. What an, <laughs> what an interesting start. Alright. So, that was a really... <laughs> not heavy. What What's the word I'm looking for? That was a really intense start to our Coffee Talk demo. So... That was a really intense beginning for this episode. But I'm liking these new characters, Lucas and Riona. I saw a theory that the new characters would be named after drinks as well, since most of the characters uh, in the first episode are. But I wonder, Lucas and Rihanna, if those are alcoholic drinks. Hmm. This Lucas guy seems like a stereotypical influencer. He kind of, he kind of reminds me of like a, a main character of an anime or something. To be honest, though, I think Rihanna is my favorite of the two. So, that was the demo of Coffee Talk Episode 2. Uh, you can wishlist this on Steam, and I'll leave a link to that below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's been really nice to see more Coffee Talk. It's been such a long time, but uh, it's also kind of nostalgic for me. So, please remember to take care of yourself today. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.